What's up, guys? It's your boy Chance. Um, I did just come back from doing a photo shoot. Um, I actually got some really good pictures, which I will be posting up later. Um, it was to update my portfolio for my photography. I got a bunch of really cool urban exploration pictures. Like, I got some cool fucking pictures I'll show you guys later on. But, uh... We do have a trouble starter amongst us. And this is somebody I didn't think would do this. Well, I kind of knew she would at some point, but I didn't think it would be the way it is. And her name is Lenny James. <clears throat> and this bitch is fucking... She tried to publicly humiliate me many times before, so this is not new to me. So I do have every right to be saying what I'm saying. Yo, Lenny James, you need to back the fuck off. Like seriously. You want to try to publicly humiliate me not only in front of my friends, but you also want to try to publicly humiliate me and cause me to lose my girlfriend? Are you fucking insane or what, bitch? I don't know what the fuck I did to you. I don't fucking know you. But for you to sit there and tell me, or tell my girlfriend that I'm out to use her for sex and that I'm a piece of shit, like, no, I'm not. I'm not like that, Lenny. I'm really not like that. Like, I would never do anything to, you know, hurt Abby. I love Abby way too fucking much to do that to her. And I don't know if this is some kind of revenge thing because of me blocking Adam. And if you guys don't know the situation about Adam, um, he's an ex-friend of mine. And the reason why I say ex-friend is because he would always try to get me to go out with him and try to make me gay when I'm not gay. And it got to the point where I was like, enough is enough. You know, like, you need to stop trying to chase after me. I'm not gay. I'm not like that. I don't have anything against gays, lesbians, bisexuals, pansexuals. Like, no, I have friends that are every spectrum of the gay community. So I have nothing wrong with that. Plus, my older brother was gay. So I'm used to that. But it got to the point to where I can handle it, and I had to block him. And ever since then, he's been running his mouth to people, saying that I'm like this, saying that I'm like that, and I'm not. And then this Lenny chick believes him, saying that, oh, you know, like, I'm going to do this. No, I'm not. You know, if there's one thing that I do know is that I do love Abby more than anything on this earth. Like, I can honestly say I would give up my music career for her if it came down to it. I really would. I would put down the music and walk away right now. Like, I really would put down the music career and walk away for, from music for good for her. If that's what it took for me to stay with her, I would walk away right now. No questions asked. Like, I love Abby way too much to do that to her. And for your fucking bitch ass to come on there and message her saying that shit, that is not cool. As a matter of fact, I will actually show you guys right now what I was doing. Uh, me and a good buddy of mine I actually went to high school with were out getting some really cool photos to update my photography album. Um, this one isn't one of the best, but it is a really good one. I got that, and then I got some of him, like, you know, bending over, picking stuff up. You know, all for this, of, you know, my portfolio. So, thank you, dude. I absolutely love these shots. Um, he is a fighter as well. Like, he does do a lot of backyard wrestling and backyard UFC so I got some of him mm -hmm. 
I got one of him doing that. I got him throwing this wild, just crazy right hook. And then I got that. Now I got a couple of flower shots as well. And he's least kind of squaring up there. And then I got that. So I, mean, I was out updating my portfolio for my photography. I was out getting some pictures to update it. Because if you guys don't know, there is a local artist here in Akron that I'm going to be doing a photo shoot for here within the next few days. So that's super cool. Um, and he's only here in the States for a few days. He actually goes back to the UK in a few weeks or so. So we're going to do a photo shoot out here. And then I'll email him the pictures and all that shit. But like, you know, point being, like, I'm out here trying to update my portfolio so I can make a career out of doing my photography. And, you know, I'm just out grabbing some pictures, hanging with a few friends, you know, grabbing some cool shit. And then I get back to see this bitch, Lenny James, pissing off my girlfriend. Like, like, dude, that's not cool. That's not cool. And it sure is fucking cool with her. Like, anybody that knows me knows I'm not like you said. Like, I'm not like that, Lenny. You say I'm like that. Everybody that fucking knows me knows I ain't like that. So honestly, you need to stop trying to publicly humiliate me all over social media and shut your fucking mouth and stop putting your nose in the business where it doesn't fucking belong. All right? Me and Abby are happy together. All right? Whatever I did to piss you off, I apologize. But honestly, grow the fuck up and get over it. You're a grown-ass adult. Grow the fuck up. Get over whatever I did to make you mad and move on with your life. Like, seriously. It's fucking ridiculous. And I went through the same shit on Live.me yesterday night when I did an early, like, an early morning um, tribute show to honor Chester and the one year mark of his passing. You know, I did the anniversary show on there just like I did on here. And I got the same shit from people on there talking shit. Thankfully, there's a lot of fans that do enjoy my work that stood up for me, which was fucking awesome. I enjoyed that. But for these motherfuckers to come off and do this, like, really? It's ridiculous. Like, what I don't understand is the point in doing that. Like, what do you get out of revenge? That's what I don't understand. It's like, why try to get revenge on me when I did nothing to you? At least I don't think I did anything to you. And if I did do something, again, I do apologize. Even though I don't know what the hell I did, I apologize. All right, I fully, I fully fucking apologize. But that does not give you the right to come in and try to break up me and my girlfriend just because of your fucking self-revenge petty bullshit. Like, there's no need for it. It's childish, and it's stupid, and honestly, you need to grow the fuck up. All right? Me and Abby are happy together. So just leave it be. Let it the fuck, let whatever happened in the past, let that shit go. Stop dragging that shit around like a fucking dead weight. Like, it's stupid. And I'll admit, when I was in high school, when I was young, when I was 15, 16 years old, I'll admit, I kind of was like that, but not really. But that was just, you know, that was when I was young. You know, we're all like that when we're around that age. 
That's natural. That's typical teenager shit. But dude, I'm 27 years old. I'm not like that. All right? I've grown the fuck up. I've matured. But it seems to me you haven't, Lenny. You're still thinking childish nonsense bullshit. And it's stupid. I'll admit, yeah, I may live at home with my mom to help her out. I'll admit that. But that doesn't make me any less mature than you, bitch. Because what you're doing is childish, it's fucked up, and just morally wrong. Like, I don't know what your end game is, but it needs to stop. So any of you guys that go to that link up in the description, that is Lane James's link. You guys can go there, block her, message her. Like, you know, do whatever you can to get this bitch to back off. Because this chick has fucking tried to publicly humiliate me on several occasions all through social media. So, like, if you guys can help me get her shut down, that would be a very big help to me. Because, you know, like I said, I love Abby way too much to do that to her. And I'm, I'm not afraid to admit she's the love of my life. I love Abby. We've been through a lot over this last year, even though, you know, we did get split up for that short period of time. We're back together for good this time. And nothing's going to break us up this time. You know, she's moving out of her parents' house in a few weeks and then saving up the money to move down here. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Leo. Like, this bitch ain't worth the time. Like, you know, this Lenny chick is beyond fucked up. Like, she ain't worth two cents, but honestly, I got tired of her trying to publicly humiliate. She's done this multiple times and it needs to stop. She's not only tried this with me, she's tried it with several of my friends. And it's it's ridiculous because she constantly figures out a way around the blocking system and continues to stir up trouble. You know, it, it's stupid and it's it's honestly getting old, you know. Like You know, me and Abby are happy together. Like, we really are. And for somebody like that to do something that childish just to get a little revenge, that's fucked up. And honestly, I'm quite tired of the revenge game. Like, I'm tired of it. And a lot of people might say that I'm lazy, that I don't work. Well, there's a reason I can't work. It's because I have to stay here at home to help take care of my mom, who was hit by a car a couple years ago, who can't do very much. She physically cannot really do anything. I mean, she can walk and stuff, yeah, but it hurts her quite a bit. So while our roommate works during the daytime, I stay here home to help her out, to help take care of her. That's why I have so much time on my hands. And honestly, I'm glad I have this much time. I really am. Because it allows me to do stuff that I really would like to do with my life, like my photography, my music. You know, spend time with my girlfriend, spend time with my friends. But this fucking nonsense of 
trying to get revenge on me, it needs to stop now, Lenny. It really does need to stop. You're acting childish. You're acting like a little fucking kid. So honestly, what I would do if I were you, I would go to wherever you need to go to to get some help. Go to a counselor, do something. You know, go to classes and learn how to be mature. You need to grow the fuck up. You're not a little kid anymore. You're a full grown adult. See, unlike you, I work for a living, okay? I know what you do. All right, yeah, I might not do regular, you know, nine to five work, but I still work. I do what I love as a, as a job. That's my job. My photography and my music is my job. All right? I do that shit every fucking day of the week. And so don't sit there and say that I don't work because I do. I make money doing what I love. And I enjoy every minute of it. But all you do is just you feed off of people. You feed off the negativity of others. You feed off the fact that you can start trouble, and that's not okay. And quite honestly, it's it's fucking mind-blowing at how dumb you really are to think that you were going to get away with this. Like, how dumb do you have to be to you're going to get away with splitting up me and my girlfriend knowing that we're not going to leave each other? Like, I don't get it. It's, it's ridiculous, and you need to grow up. Like, it, it needs to stop. You need to stop doing this shit, and honestly, I'll be straight up honest with you. You have no place on social media because of what you're doing. You know, you're a fucking troll. That's, you're, what, you're what everybody like me, those of us that make a living do what we do, you're what we call a troll. You come on here to start trouble, not giving a fuck about the consequences of what your actions do to others. Exactly, Leah. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly on that. Well, he is right. She's right, Elaine. You need to let go of the past and turn the page. Move on. Grow up. That's what I've done. I've grown the fuck up. I've moved on from whatever bullshit was in the past. Leave the past in the past, Lenny. Like, seriously, leave it behind, leave the past behind you and move on. Like, seriously, you need to grow up. Like, I'm tired of you trying to publicly humiliate me. I'm tired of it. It needs to stop. You need to stop trying to humiliate and ruin my life and leave the past in the past, grow the fuck up, and move on. All right? Me and Abby love each other. And nothing you can say or do is ever going to split us up. It's not going to work. You can try all you want. But in the end of the day, at the end of it, you're still just going to fail. Because all you are is a no good, low down, self pity having fucking troll. That's all you are. And if you don't grow up, that's all you're ever going to be is a troll. 
feeding off of people, draining them. And one thing you don't realize is you're trolling like you're doing. Do you know how badly that makes people feel? When people like you come on the internet and troll people just to be an ass, just to be mean? Do you know the kind of mental issues that a lot of people like that have that you do that shit to? I lost a very dear friend of mine not that long ago to people like you. Because the trolls on the internet and fucking cyberbullying them so bad that they ended their life and I didn't know it until about a week later. I had no clue. But my point is to you, Lenny, grow the fuck up and leave the past in the past. Me and Abby are together for good. And nothing you can say or do is going to split us up. I'm tired of you publicly hearing me. I fucking had it. I tried to take it, but no more. I'm done falling victim to your fucking negative bullshit. It ends here and now, Lenny. Grow the fuck up. And move the fuck on with your life.